what's up you guys Jenna Citrus here so um, this uh, before you leave because I you know what I'm about to say it's happy Valentine's Day from all of us here at Jenna Citrus all one of us I know Valentine's Day gets a bad rap um, because uh, single people that don't have people with them uh, or uh, I mean couples you know the, the, it's, it's, a, it's a couple celebration but it, it can also be a self-love celebration so, if you're spending Valentine's Day with your significant other, or you're spending it alone, um, here's some fun top, hopefully 10, we're going to see if we get to 10, uh, tips that will make uh, life a little bit more fun this Valentine's Day. So, di dive in, relax, uh, find a nice calming place to listen to this, and then there's a lot of suggested activities, so you've got fun to do after this video is over. Oh, there's also an article that I'm publishing on Medium, so be sure to check that out. Okay, here you go. Well, the first one that I just did is take a nice, warm, relaxing, calming bath. Oh, I love taking baths. They are just one of my favorite places to be. They're so relaxing. There's just the hot water. I could stay in there way too long. Uh, and I maybe did. And if you do not have a bathtub that is built for two, I have a hot tub recommendation. Um, I got this off of Amazon. I think it was four or $500, somewhere in that range. And it's my favorite way to have a hot tub and then not have a hot tub because you can blow it up and then it can go away. <laughs> so that's pretty exciting and valuable in a hot tub because I put this in my living room and I did not get a lot of likes. I got a lot of people walking in and being like, why is there a hot tub in your living room? But if you don't have a bathtub that's built for two, you can get a hot tub that's built for six. <laughs> and then moved around. So it's it's in the garage right now. I, I'm not using it because it is way too cold. But I sometimes use it in the winter and sometimes I don't. So in your bathtub, you can, uh, I mean, there's just lots of, I don't know, really great, fun, relaxing activities to do. So check it out. Dry yourself a nice warm bath. Enjoy. Uh, bubbles, not bubbles, bath bombs. Those are a big thing. Uh, but enjoy. Have fun. And oh man, I just used Dr. Teal's um, uh, relaxing eucalyptus spearmint muscle relaxing thing, and I smell really good, so I love that. Uh, yeah, okay, let's move on. Number two. Oh, this one, it gets me in trouble. One year, um, I did candles. Uh, I had a, a romantic partner coming over, but I, I'd made dinner and I was working with candles, getting, trying to make it all, you know, romantic and relaxing and a beautiful table atmosphere. Uh, they had little bitty tiny uh, votive candles at their house. So I took all those votive candles and made maybe what you'll call a pyramid of fire. <laughs> yeah, um, so there was probably instead of one candle, I put a hundred candles out. And it was lovely and romantic, but I did make a giant wax sculpture, and that was um, maybe more of an exciting part of Valentine's Day than um, yeah something that you should be doing. So be careful if you're if you're setting fire, don't set it to your house. Uh, always be aware of that. Yeah. So moving on, we've got candles. Um, oh, cooking number two. Yes, I love. Oh, wait, I want to go back to candles. One more second. Um, Leora Lai did a guided meditation in part of this ritual. It was a self-care, erotic, loving self-meditation. And we lit a candle. And that was our intention at the beginning of the workshop. And at the end of it, we blew the candle out. And it was just a really magical experience. So I love what, what they did there. So that was that was really lovely and magical. On to number three. Cooking. Yeah, cooking is always a great thing to do. You can cook for yourself, you can cook for your partner, you can cook with your partner. Um, there's always a good recipe, or you can always, you know, order takeout because no one does that anymore. <laughs> uh, but being able to make some plans and then go grocery shopping, it's kind of just like a whole practice or ritual. And if you both are working at home and you take the day off, you can kind of just spend the day grocery shopping and meal prepping and kind of being domestic around the house. That's always a fun way to relax and spend some time together. So, oh, and speaking of Leorelei, um, Faye and I are going to be doing a workshop online that is to, titled To Be Determined. So the, I'm pre-recording this right now so I can get my article written. But keep an eye out for that title. Maybe I'll insert it here now. <laughs> title! <laughs> yeah, there we go. Uh, so that's what's happening. Oh, what else is... 
I'm trying to uh, record this on my phone so I can help this, like, use this as a basis for my article. But when I looked at it, I was like, South Carolina? And I was like, what are you even saying? <laughs> oh, now my computer's going to sleep. Everything's sleeping. Stop sleeping. <laughs> okay, so on to number, I think it's number five-ish. Five-ish. <laughs> um, I just published an erotic audiobook, so if you have not downloaded it yet, um, it is called 10 Sexy Stories to Tell in the Dark, and it's available on Audible, or if you prefer a paperback copy, or you want to read it um, on a Kindle, those swipey things. I don't like to use the swipey things, but I know a lot of people do. So uh, download that now. Uh, there's a link in the description. Click on it. Go to Audible. Check it out. Um, yeah, it's very fun and sexy and maybe you'll use it as like a way to kind of end the evening because it's a little bit, uh, yeah, it's it's very, very erotic. I will say that. So there's, I'll just leave it at that. I'll let you go listen to the preview if you want to. It's out there. The preview is not nearly as erotic as the rest of the book because you have to find something that was safe for uh, everyone to publish on Audible. And that was as safe as I could find. So there we go. And while I am out here self proloing the day away, you do not have to read my book, but I'd love for you to. <laughs> but there's always, um, you can find an erotica book or some just other sort of romance book or a comedy book, or you can just spend time reading to your significant other or snuggling up with one another and reading a book together. Um, or if you're, if you're Zoom in and you both have the same book, that could be a good way to, to spend some time with a friend or a family that's not, not your loved one and, and just get your reading in. <laughs> you can read together. <laughs> Oh, oh, I thought of it. Here it is. Here it is. Number six-ish. Uh, uh, ask your partner, or if you don't have a partner, call a friend, and you can do this over Zoom or over the phone, or you can just like, te uh, what is it called, chat back and forth. But um, I'm going to find a really good list of questions for you guys online. I don't think I've written them yet. But, um, and ask each other about your life. Uh, play, play 20 questions. Um, ask them where they grew up. Ask them what a normal day was like in their childhood. Um, ask them what their favorite place to live was. And I mean, and they, they can go back and forth. Like, you'll ask them and then they'll ask you. So, I mean, it's just a really great way to get to know another person. And it doesn't have to be your significant other. I'm sure your mother and your father would appreciate a call on Valentine's Day. They'd be like, aw, someone loves me. <laughs> so be sure to, um, be inclusive on Valentine's Day. Reach out and talk to everyone and yeah, spread the love. <laughs> okay, so I am back with number seven. Hello. Uh, so this is a dress up and dance. So yay! Uh, this sounds like a really fun activity to do with your your, your, your person or alone because I love to dress up and I sometimes feel really sexy when, when I wear different clothes. So just finding clothes that make you feel happy and in your body and at home is a great thing to do. And <clears throat> if you don't have a partner to dance with, or if you've always been scared to dance with your partner because uh, you don't want to be judged by people, this is the perfect time to do this because you're stuck at home! So dress up, stay home, and enjoy. Dun, 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 dun. Oh yeah, man, I love dancing. You make me feel like dancing. Gonna dance the night away. You make me feel like dancing. I guess you can sing karaoke while you're here too. Ah! <laughs> but anyways, while you are all dressed up, woo. Anyways, while you are all dressed up, um, you can also book a remote photo shoot. Uh, these are something that literally anyone anywhere in the world um, can do if they have internet, a cell phone, or an iPad, or a laptop that has a camera on it, which most people do since they've been Zooming. So um, I'm available to be booked remotely as a photographer, so I can stay here, and you can stay where you are, and we can be 3,000 miles apart <laughs> or more, and we can do a remote photo shoot. So while you're all dressed up, you can book a uh, remote photo shoot, and you can work with one of your favorite photographers from home. So that's a that's a fun way to spend Valentine's Day. Book like a quick 15-30 um, minute session, get some shots, and we can get those posted online. So that, that's a fun way to just uh, memorialize uh, Valentine's Day. Um, we, shot, we shot some Easter pictures. We had a remote shoot with one of my uh, favorite photographers over in Cincinnati. So it's a great way to support small businesses while still staying at home and staying safe. Let's Okay, yay! This was like a an all-in-one. Number nine! Uh, 
you can watch a movie. There's rom-coms, there's just comedies, some people like scary stuff, I don't like zombie movies, but um, some people think that's really fun and romantic and gets them in the mood, but yeah, you can watch a movie together. That's just a fun little way to, you know, do, do something that, that gets you together and having fun. Um, number 10 is kind of a very self, self, uh, self-serving self one, but if you're, if you're spending Valentine's Day alone, a good way to connect with other people is you can join an OnlyFans or a Patreon page and find someone that does videos like me, me, like me. No, just kidding. Um, so you can you can feel really connected to someone even if you can't be with another person in person. So and number ten. So um, if you don't feel like dressing up or you want to get get your yoga on or your sweat on, you can wear exercise clothes and go for a walk, go for a cardio in the house do some yoga, just do like something that's that gets your blood pumping and it'll get you sweaty. So it'll get you ready for that bath that you know you want to take. And oh, you can eat more chocolate because you just lost all that weight. Look at all that exercise you did. Way to, way to self-care. I feel like Valentine's Day could be like a, a self-care holiday. Sweet. Yeah, girl yoga, which is partner yoga, which I'm something that I'm very excited about. You can put a partner up on your feet and fly them into the air. How cool is that to spend Valentine's Day underneath someone, but like three or four feet under them? <laughs> yeah, there's tons of fun couples activities to do if you want to find a way to exercise and more, in a more unique way, because I usually end up exercising by myself, but if you can find someone in real life to be like, hey, come over, do Valentine's Day with me, get on top of my feet, and they're like, what? <laughs> so that's a, a fun way if you're, you're not with an intimate partner to just spend some quality touching time with someone. <laughs> And be like, what are you doing? It's like, it's it's a bonding activity. You're having fun, right? I'm having fun. <laughs> and here, here's a bonus one. Um, I know you've all been waiting for it, but you can be in, so number, number 11. Uh-oh, wait, uh, you can be intimate with someone. Of course, that that's always an option. You can do this by yourself, alone, um, and remember cuddling or just like even like soft petting is, is a really nice form of way of not uh, not having to, to be as, as typically intimate as Valentine's Day is sort of known for, but uh, just really sharing and spreading the love. So be sure to uh, make sure you feel loved on Valentine's Day, whether you're doing that with a partner or even if you have a partner and you're still loving yourself alone, just be like, hey, I love, I love myself and I love you and I love everybody. So thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and read the article. Click on the links uh, and enjoy. See ya. Bye. <laughs>